Welcome back everyone. We're talking about the third event now of the Scrum process and it's called the Sprint Review. And the Sprint Review is uh, it's a really fantastic little event to attend. Um, it's one whereby um, the team come together, the stakeholders come together and there's a demonstration of the piece of work that they've been working on for the past two weeks. Uh, or we hope so. <laughs> um, and really... Um, it's a bit of a celebration to see if the team has met their objectives. Uh, it could be quite nerve-wracking. It, it can also be exciting. Um, but uh, every time I've attended these events, it's always been really good fun. Um, but uh, And it is just, you know, it, is, it, is, it should be a celebration of how have we achieved our uh, objectives, how well did we, you know... Um, did we effectively meet it and have we achieved it? If yes... Good job, everybody. And who who's attending? The Scrum team attends. Um, the product owner, the Scrum master, and the development team. Then you also have stakeholders. Uh, who are the ones that the product might be getting delivered to at the end of the day? And they might also have um, requirements that they might feedback as they watch the team demo. So it could be um, um, a, a single member of the development team might um, volunteer to conduct a demonstration of the product or the new piece of functionality that they've been building and that everyone observes they're writing down improvements extra requirements and they feed this back to the product owner and it is the product owner's job to capture these new ideas new requirements and effectively prioritize on what is necessarily and what isn't. So they might use the Moscow technique, must, should, must have, should have, could have and won't have. But it is the product owner's responsibility and he has the sole authority on uh, and the last call on where it should rank in the product backlog for the next or the sprint backlog for the next sprint. One thing that people get wrong is that they think that the product owner's decision can be overridden. It can't. In Scrum, it is absolutely um, forbidden that the product owner's decision, prioritization decision, can be overridden. <clears throat> it is only the product owner that can decide what the team can work on. And that is a key thing if you're going for certification. And um, the Scrum Master is obviously there. He's watching this meeting get conducted, and there might be one or two stakeholders that might get a wee bit uh, difficult to handle. And it might it, it might be the scrum master to say, "Hey, um, you know, if you've got any sort of um, questions around business, direct them to the product owner. Any sort of questions around the process, maybe um, uh, you know, um, redirect them to the scrum master, which will be myself. And any technical questions, obviously, to that. So he'll try to um, coordinate the questioning and control the meeting. So it's it's really a productive meeting and not a blame game." or anything like that and um, again it's time boxed uh, maximum is usually one hour one hour and a half that's the sweet spot that I've seen for this meeting uh, maximum two hours but don't forget that it is quite long it's quite lengthy um, it, you know you, you, it's just really effectively demonstrate celebrate and get out <laughs> um, and also capture any requirements that these stakeholders might have because um, they usually are the, the, the business's customer as well so don't forget that and um, one of the key things is that any user stories that the team's been working on that have passed the definition of done which is just um, um, a definition of done is just a document it's just a it's just a piece of um, you could say legislation that the team has came up with to say that any work that we do must meet this quality standard. So you could say it's a quality standard document. It might contain more stuff in there in terms of quality aspects, uh, t TDD. It might be um, certain ways of working. So it's it's just a, a quality standards document. But even if a user story has met a certain criteria or has passed that quality standards document, that, which is the definition of done, the product owner still can overrule this um, because it's the product owner is the effectively the voice of the customer. So he can um, um, accept the work or he can reject it. And 90% of the time, 
they always, well, 99% of the time, they do always accept it because if that product owner has been fully involved over the last two weeks and has been attending the daily stand-ups and all the other Scrum events, they are fully, fully um, transparent. They have, they have visual, understand, they have visually seen everything. They are up to date on what the scrum team has been building so they will have and if there has been any changes they would have communicated out throughout the last two weeks so it should not come to them as a surprise so the product owner should be accepting most of the work that's been been working on that the team has been working on and the scrum master is there to just make sure they this meeting happens and it's time boxed and it's conducted in an orderly uh, manner and the team can um, get the maximum benefit from this as well and the development team can also have some time to celebrate and there you have it that's the sprint review and i'll hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll catch you in the next one